So I'm out using the Vlog Pocket today. And we know that the Vlog Pocket is a really good camera phone gimbal. And I've come to this sort of park area just to test out how good the app is in its, the additional features and what the app promises. So the app has quite a lot of additional features that you can use the Vlog Pocket for. We're gonna see today whether worth using the app and if it really does give you any benefit over just using your standard camera app. So I'm out on a windy day in a sort of park area on a bench and I've just come here to show you the Fayutech Fay on app using with the Vlog Pocket. So let's open it up. So I'm not sure if you can see that, but opening it up, we can link to the, the Vlog Pocket straight away and the app comes up and we can do photos and stills. There isn't really a great deal more in the app than you get on your standard camera app. So if I go to video, the options we have are video, slow-mo, light rail mode, which isn't anything you can't get in other apps, but we can do time-lapse and here's static time-lapse. One of the problems is you can't actually see what you're picking, it's very difficult. So interval of a second, I think, running for one minute, so let's go for that. So we get down here, we get how many gigabytes of storage we've got left, we get how many, um, how long it's running for, we get the quality, 60 frames per second at 1080. So it just runs like that really. Okay, so the static time lapse is saved and it, I will admit it's not really much, much use to anyone. However, this time lapse mode is much more useful. So if we go for tracking time lapse, so what we can do, we can position we can set a capture point. So if I turn this round here and I press start, that's my start point. And if I go to my end point, which I want up here and I press that. So I put my two tracking points in. Now, what I can do is I can just go to the next step, use the same parameters as before and start, press start. And you can see it goes to the first area and it's moving along very nicely, just taking images. Now, I can't see the point using this Fayetech gimbal for doing a static time lapse because you could, you could just put your camera in a tripod or just sort of prop it up against something. I don't see the point. This, however, is, is really quite useful because it gives a dynamic time lapse and gives movement in your time lapse. And this is a, a good use of the gimbal with your phone to get a decent time lapse. So the time lapse should be close to finishing now and as you can see it's pointing up at the sky close to my end point and it's saving. So the video time lapse is saved and you can see that here. We go to the other modes for video. We can do something called dolly zoom which basically just does some digital zooming. It's really not very good. Five, four, three, two, one. and it, it, it just does some digital zooming. I really don't think that that's any good. Something that is quite useful is you can do some tracking. So I'm gonna turn this around. Yeah, so it's not picking up, it hasn't picked my face up either, which is a bit of a shame. So unfortunately the app is, the app is buggy. And can't seem to do it. No, I'm not really getting anything, and the exposure's terrible as well. So if we go into photo capture mode, we have overlapping image light trail, which I, I can't really understand the overlapping image, but we've got panoramas. So let's do a freehand panorama. So I'm in the panorama mode and I'm going to do a quick panorama here. So I'm going to press the button record and I'm going to sweep around like so. So it takes between 20 and 60 seconds to compose the panorama and you can see the panorama here. Using the app as well, you, you can move the gimbal about by using the joystick. 
again I'm not, I'm not really sure what the point is of this if I wanted to do film something here film something down here I could position the phone to point down at that but I would still be better off just using a tripod so you can see I'm pointing down at the table but I still can't really get rid of get rid of this options thing here it's just so buggy with the app you can select your device which is quite good it's auto auto pick the vlog pocket so I think the only real functionality that's useful that the app gives is doing motion time lapse. Don't get me wrong, the vlog pocket is, is very good and it's very good at what it does, but the app isn't particularly brilliant. I find it quite buggy. I don't find it as good as the normal camera app, but it is good for doing motion time lapses. A panorama, you get a very, when you do standard panoramas you get a very small sort of output it's very thin it doesn't take up the whole frame so you yes you can do 360 ultra wide and 180 panoramas but i really can't see them being of much use to anyone in a similar way overlapping images and light trail mode i can't see them being very useful or very good at all but i am impressed with the motion time lapse feature like i've said the the static time lapse, I really don't see what the point is, but there we are.